Hi, it's Imogen Lamport from Inside Out Style coming to answer your colour and style questions. First one in my Lucky Dip today comes from Claudia who says, I tend to wear the same things all the time. <clears throat> I have many nice things, but sometimes I lack the confidence to wear or style them. What to do? So when you have beautiful things, wear them. There is no you know, time, there's no point in holding off on to your good stuff for a better time to wear them because the best time is now. And this is because clothes are like milk. They go off over time. You know, fashions go out of fashion. And so therefore, when if you own something, wear it. Because if you're putting it off because you haven't got the confidence or, you, you know, you haven't got anywhere to wear it, all those sorts of things, then the clothes will just go off and they'll never get used. And they'll have been a waste of money. Now, the confidence to wear them. Now, this is something interesting. One of the things I find is that often we can feel like we're going to be the center of attention if we wear something different from what we normally wear. And this can make some people feel really uncomfortable. But please don't. The thing is, is what most people have discovered when they do start wearing something that's a little bit different is that people will actually, they'll get compliments. And, you know, most people will look at somebody who is dressed stylishly and think, wow, I wish I was wearing something like that. So it is one of those things we can often feel quite self-conscious. And so often taking baby steps to do this, and this is what I do in my Evolve Your Style 31 Day Style Challenge. It takes you baby steps to a new version of you in a new style and trying something different. And you know what? Even when we do something that feels really uncomfortable and not like us and we get through the day wearing that, we discovered that nobody laughed at us and nobody made fun of us and it was actually fine and maybe we even got some compliments, that it gives you that uh, motivation and that confidence to wear something different. So it can just be starting off with small baby steps, add in small amounts of the things that you're a little bit unsure about how to wear, but you'll be amazed at how soon, you know, and how quickly you'll start to adapt. Because really what you're doing is you're building some new neural pathways in your brain. Uh, and that's what we have to do with our style is build some new neural pathways uh, so that we do feel more comfortable. And I always think about, you know, the comfort zone is very tiny. And every time we push ourselves out of it a little bit, the comfort zone expands. And what we really want to do is expand that comfort zone. And then if you've got ideas about styling, so you're just not sure how to style them. Well, the, I have a blog post all about how you can use Pinterest to help you find ways of styling things. I think it's a really useful tool. So go onto Pinterest and you just search up, say, maybe you're looking at you know a specific sort of item of clothing. Could be a denim jacket, for example, or a white shirt, or whatever it might be. How to style that put it into Pinterest and see what comes up. And then you can take some inspiration from what appears there. You will find that there's lots and lots of things that people have already put out there on the internet to give you some styling tips and advice. So I do have a whole blog post on how to do that. Uh, so you can go and check that out on the blog. It's a little bit old, but if you just, you know, how to use Pinterest or put something like that into the search in the blog search bar, you will find it fairly easily. Um, and I probably also, you know, even also search on the blog for, you know, different garments or things like that, because there may be something that I've already done in there as well that can give you some tips. And the other thing I would recommend is that you uh, have a look at my outfit masterclass. And this gives you a, a new way and a new strategy of how to think about putting outfits together for you in a way that feels really authentic and comfortable for you as well. Uh, so that is another thing to think about because of course, you know, we can admire somebody else's style, but it may not be our style. So part of it is starting to figure out what is your style and how do you want to put things together for you? But I do say wear the clothes. You have them, wear them before they go out of date and out of fashion.